everyone. Today we are going to do an experiment about Newton's second law. Please have an adult next to you when you are doing this experiment. What is Newton's second law? Newton's second law is that acceleration gaining speed go to the force and the force acts on the mass the mass is the object and a good example is riding a bike the bike is the mass and the force is when we pedal on it and the acceleration is when it pedals or when it pedals slow now let's do our experiment what we need for the experiment is a big ball like a basketball and that's all. What we just need to do is just roll it. The mass over here in this experiment is the basketball and the force is when I push it and the acceleration is when I pull it fast. This or when I pull it like this. There's an equation in Newton's second law which is F equal MA. I will write the equation on my board. is force. So we write F equal force and M is mass. M equals M A S S mass and A is acceleration. A equals a c c c c e l e i a t i o n this is how it looks like this Force F equal M A. F is force F O R C E. Force is the push, the push or pull. And the mass is how much the basketball weighs. And the acceleration is the rate of the rate of the change of the speed like if I pull it slow or if I pull it fast. Force equals ma ma m mass into acceleration is mass and acceleration make force. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun science. See you next time. Bye. Hello everyone. Today we are going to do the experiment that Galileo did. Galileo did was to pick a heavy object and pick a light object and put them at the same time and drop, put them at the same height and drop them at the same time. We have a heavy object which is this basketball and a light object. We are going to drop this at the same time and the same height. Do you think the basketball will reach the ground first or the wall will? First, let's do it. In one, two, three. They both fall at the same time because, so when we have a heavy object and a light object, they fall at the same time, like what 
we did. Both balls fell at the same time because of the gravity was equal in both of the balls. That's why both balls reached to the ground at the same time. Now, let's pick a heavier object and a light object like a feather or a crumpled piece of paper. Now, I have a tennis ball and a piece of paper. We will drop it at the same time, at the same height. Do you think that both of them will fall at the same time or the tennis ball will fall first or the paper will fall first? First, let's do our experiment to find out. Put them at the same height and at the same time in one, two, three, go! Oh, the tennis ball fell first than the crumpled piece of paper. It's because the tennis ball is heavier than the crumpled piece of paper and the crumpled piece of paper is so light that due to air resistance, the crumpled piece of paper fell last than the tennis ball. But if we did it in a vacuum or on the moon, there's no air resistance, so gravity is equal on both objects due to Newton's second law, both objects fall at the same time. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Hello everyone. Today we are going to do an experiment about Newton's second law. The force on an object is equal to the mass of that object times its acceleration. F equal N A. Now let's do our experiment. What you need for this experiment is some floor in a dish, two same weighted balls, an iron ball, one water bottle which is empty, another water bottle which is with some water in it. We use food coloring so you could see it clearly. We have a ruler and that's all. First you put after you put your floor in your dish, you you got to smooth it flat, make it flat in the dish. So first what you need to do is you get your, your same mass or weighted ball and drop it in the floor. You can see that when you take them off, both of the balls which are, have same weight have the same depth in the floor because they both have equal weight or mass. Now let's smooth it again. Smooth the floor again. And then what we do is we get our two water bottles, one with some water and one with which is just empty. And then we drop that. You can see that when you take them off, this one, when we put this one over here, this has only a little bit depth, but when we put this one, this had some more depth than that because this water bottle had some water, but this water bottle was jumped just empty. Now what we other need to do is we first Got to plant in this again. Get our iron ball and we get our ruler. And then put the ruler like this. And then five centimeters over here. And then put the ball on five centimeters and drop it. You see that the depth was kind of big. And then after we flattened it, we get our ruler. And you see over here is 15 centimeters. And then we put the ruler on the floor and then 15 centimeters. And then put the ball at 15 centimeters and then drop it. You can see that the ball, the iron ball, had some depth in it. We do not need the ruler, but we just throw the ball in. Not like this. But 
draw it. You can see that the ball went in through the floor. Why? Because we gave a big force on it and it was a big height. So it forced the friction on the floor and made it go deep into the floor over here. Now we know we um, did some experiments and now we're going to learn about the equation. We are going to write Newton's second law and we're going to learn more about it. So, Newton's second law is F equal M A. F is four, so we write F. equals force and m is mass so we write m equals mass and a is acceleration so we write a equals acceleration so this is the sign of Newton's second law F equal MA and F is force and M is mass A is acceleration force is the push or pull Mass is how much it, the weight and A, acceleration, is the rate of change of speed. If you get mass, how, the weight, and the weight is low, then the force is also low. And if the mass is high that means the weight is high then the force is also high that means you need to push harder like this one this water this bottle has a little bit mass because there's no water in it and this one has kind of more mass than this one because it has some water so this one is lighter mass because it has no water and this one has more mass because it has some water. So if I dropped it on the floor, the floor and when I took it off, it said that when I dropped this one, this one had some depth on the friction because it has some water, but this one had only a small depth because it has an no big mass like this one and that is how it is see you next time bye hello everyone today we are going to do an experiment about newton's second law newton's second law states that the acceleration is proportional to the force and there's also an equation for newton's second law so the equation is F equals MA. And if the force is high, that means the acceleration is also high. And if the force is low, that means the acceleration is also low. Now, let's do our experiment and make sure that there's an adult next to you while you're doing this experiment for your safety. And safety is important for you kids. So, what you will need for this experiment is a piece of wood, 
a hammer, be careful, the hammer's very sharp. So what you will need to do is put the wooden block on the table, then get your hammer and run it through a small force and see what happens. It doesn't barely move because the force that we gave wasn't enough to the frictional force. So if the force is little, the acceleration is little. And if the force is big, the acceleration is big. Now let's try putting a big force. Now let's put a big force. So when we apply the big force, the wood went faster because if we apply the big force, the acceleration is also big. Now, we did an experiment and learned about Newton's second law and did a really fun experiment and learned about Newton's second law's equation. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more fun science experiments. See you next time. Bye!